a lot more bird activity in general than there was a couple weeks ago. Hearing a lot more chirps, a lot more calling, a lot more, uh, starting to probably seek a mate for some of these birds. <laughs> As another long winter comes to a close, the warm weather has started to move into the dairy state. Along with it comes the first wave of spring migrants. With the exciting prospect of seeing some first of year birds, I'm out and about trying to find early arriving species. Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Badgerland Birding and today it's early March and some of the first migrants to come back are starting to be reported around the state. So things like the sandhill cranes, the grackles, the red-winged blackbirds, the things that signify the arrival of spring in the birding world are starting to get here. So we're on a search today to see how many of these we can find, if we can find any. And as you can see, there's still some snow on the ground, but the temperature is a lot nicer now than it was a few weeks ago. It's in probably the high 30s or mid 30s, maybe even low 40s if we get lucky. Uh, but there's still a lot of ice and snow on the ground. So we'll see what kind of birds we can find out here. Today, I decided to try a few different locations with varied habitat to try and maximize the different species I can find. My first stop is a park in the city. We are starting today at Frame Park in Waukesha County. And Frame Park is pretty cool because there is a river, the Fox River, that goes right through it. And it's kind of surrounded by more urban buildings and human habitation. So it's a very cool park to bird at. Sometimes rare birds will show up here. Um, it's a great place to capture migrants. And we can start off today already by seeing Canada geese. Canada geese used to be a bird that people would think meant that spring was coming, and you do see more of them flocking overhead, a lot more actually usually in the spring, but this bird species stays here all year now, as many birders can attest to, so it's not really the same indicator that it used to be. With the Fox River flowing through the center of the park, many waterfowl can be found here, including those that make their way into the state in spring, as well as those that make their way out. Just had two common golden eye that are still hanging around. It's so nice to be able to be outside without having to wear gloves and a thick hat and 25 layers. Still a bit breezy out today though, which is a little chilly. But not anything close to what it was a couple weeks ago. It's actually way more common gold now here than I thought there was. And I just saw a couple of them doing their mating display, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I got ring-billed gull out here too. They're, Kind of technically supposed to be migratory, but we have some that stick around all year, especially in certain areas where they know there's food. Lots of Canada geese, a lot more bird activity in general than there was a couple weeks ago. Hearing a lot more chirps, a lot more calling, a lot more uh, starting to probably seek a mate for some of these birds. A little farther down, I encountered a somewhat unexpected species, the mute swan. While mute swans are non-migratory, they can be difficult to find in some parts of North America. This species is non-native, and although they are quite elegant and beautiful to look at, their aggressiveness has been known to displace native wildlife. Shortly after finding the swan, I was able to locate my first incoming duck species of the outing. We're on the board for migratory duck species with hooded merganser. Derek and I actually saw one of these on the first this year and it was sleeping. It was nice to see some out and about. And there'll be a lot more of those on the way in the next couple of weeks. I've reached the point in the park where we run into the flock of mallards that lives here. And you can occasionally find a couple of other birds mixed in. So today I just noticed that there are two lesser scop out there, which is really exciting. That's a new year bird for me. And another migratory duck species to add to our list. So you can see there's a little bit of a tuft on the head of the lesser scop. There's a little ridge, that little triangular ridge. And on the greater scop it's very much more rounded and smoothed out than that. And it, can be a tough ID when there's a mixed flock of them, but if you look at that head shape, that becomes a lot easier. After taking some time to admire the river, I headed back. Before getting too far, I stopped for a closer look at the friendly neighborhood mallards. 
couple of these birds are domestic manky, as they call them. Uh, they have that white bib and they just look a little bit different. You guys want to be in a video? No? Maybe? You? Sleepy. I don't know, I think they're cute. Even though there's a lot of them over here and they're pretty used to people, they're pretty adorable. I always find the spots interesting that are kind of urban because people just kind of walk alongside the nature and the nature kind of tolerates the people. But they can be a really good spots sometimes because in an area where there's not a whole lot of rivers or forests or anything, you can collect some good birds in areas where there's just trees or a little bit of open water. Well, I'm pretty much back to the car now, so it's time to change locations. Um, we're gonna go, like I said, somewhere a little less busy with people. One thing I noticed here that was weird is no muskrats were out. Usually when it turns the calendar to March, I see some muskrats out feeding on the ice. So that was a little odd. Maybe it means we still have a couple more blizzards coming. Hopefully not, but we'll have to see. Before leaving, Frame Park provided me with one more migratory bird. We've got a blackbird of some kind, guys. I just heard it. I see it up there. It's in the sun. I heard him first. What is it? Looks like a grackle to me. The grackle took off, but we got our first blackbird species that migrates through Wisconsin for this spring. So that is very exciting. Uh, let's go on to our next location. From the park, I headed to one of the lakes in the Kettle Moraine State Forest, hoping there would be more migrants in a slightly less inhabited area. This is Ottawa Lake out near the Kettle Moraine State Forest, the southern unit. And it is definitely a little earlier than I usually come out here in the year because there is still ice on the lake. I remember the last time I was finding early migrants, there was no ice on the lake. So we definitely might be a little early, but just the excitement of perhaps finding some of these new birds, you know, it brings you out there and then we're going to do the best we can. I don't hear much of anything yet though. So we'll see. After an uneventful walk around the lake, I was able to find a spring migrant. All right, we've got something in Ottawa Lake. We have a sandhill crane feeding in some of the reeds. Now this is the first one I think I've seen this year. So cool to see these birds back. I know everybody gets excited for them always. Uh, so here we go, let's get some looks at this sandhill crane. There were literally no other birds at Ottawa Lake except for the one sandhill crane. So I'm going to try to go to one more place where I think we could potentially see a red-winged blackbird or maybe a better look at a grackle. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But so far, pretty solid day. I mean, sandhill crane, the lesser scop, uh, the hooded merganser was cool. The grackle was the first of year. So we're doing pretty well for being still pretty early and uh, still pretty cold out. From Ottawa Lake, I made one last stop at a very familiar place. So it's a little bit later in the day and I'm actually at my parents' house because they've said they've been seeing some runaway blackbirds. And so I just got here and you probably hear the ruckus behind me that sounds like there's a bunch of them. So let's see if we can get a look. That is just such a nice noise to hear early in spring, meaning that more of them are going to be on their way and we're going to have some great birding coming soon. So thanks everyone for joining me on this little trip and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. You guys are loud feeders. Here we have the obligatory house sparrow sighting. Non-migrant, invasive species. Write it down. Just look at these goobers. Look at that goober.